In the previous video, we set up a Google Cloud Platform server instance and just got it ready to start installing the web environment. There are videos after this one that will walk you through installing a Node.js server environment or a PHP LAMP server environment. However, before we do that, I'm just gonna show you how to get FTP access to your server. So to start, I'm gonna open up my terminal and create an SSH key. So I'm gonna use the command ssh-keygen and I'm gonna place my keys just on my desktop. And I'm gonna call them testing server. So I'll just name them after my Google Cloud platform server instance. I'm not gonna put a password on these keys so now notice in my folder, I have two new files. I have my private key and my public key. And before I can use these, I need to put the public key on my Google Cloud platform. So I'm gonna go back to my Google Cloud platform, go to VM instances, sorry, compute engine. And under there, there is a item called metadata. And I can put my new SSH key in here. So let's open up my SSH key, the public one. And I'm just gonna change the username to testing server just to match all my other naming. And I can click edit and add my new key. So notice there's my username and that gets automatically pulled over into the username column. Hit save. And before I set up an FTP connection, I need my IP address. So I'm just gonna go back to my VM instances and grab my external IP address. Now I can create a new connection. I'm just going to name the connection after the IP address. Then I can paste my IP address in there. I'm going to connect via SFTP and my username is testing server. Now before I can connect, I need to provide FileZilla with the location of my key. So I'm going to go to the SFTP settings and add a new, and this time I'm going to select the private key. And now my connection should work. All right, so I'm connected, and let's just make sure I can delete and upload files to make sure I have permission to this folder. And it looks like everything's working like it should be. Now, after this video, you'll need to choose whether you want to follow through with a Node.js server environment or a PHP LAMP server environment. Once you have the actual server installed, whether it's Apache or Nginx, there will be a specific location where you upload either your PHP or your Node.js files. And we need to make sure our testing server user has access to upload to those files. So when we'll get there, we'll just have to check back in on our FTP settings and make sure that our user has upload access.